everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Kristen I'm a lifestyle vlogger and today I have a like super big empties video to share with you guys now I don't wear a ton of makeup so a lot of what I show in my empties videos are like candles and wax melts I've used up bath and body works type products because I have a lot of that stuff bath bombs there are some makeup things and definitely some skincare related items as well um but i feel like this is just a fun way to share with you guys things that i liked well enough to use completely up a lot of times people will do reviews on products and they've like used it once or twice right these things i either buy all the time so like i definitely know i like it because i like it well enough to keep buying it or like I've at least used it up and I have a full idea of the product instead of just using it a little bit. So it's kind of fun to watch these and see what people like buy on the regular and you know see what's worth purchasing really is what it comes down to. So let's jump on into this. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start off with candles today. Normally I do this stuff at the very end because there's a lot of it but because there's a lot of it that's this is like most of what I have to show with you guys is um, candles and wax melts. And then I've got a fair amount of other things, but it's a lot of candles and wax melts. So let's go ahead and start with candles. We can get those out of the way really quickly because there's not really a lot of like actual candles. I know I kept saying candles, but I do a lot of wax melts, way more than I do candles, though I am starting to dabble back into candles. I didn't burn candles really for years. Um, we just had a whole thing where we pulled carpet out of our house and took it out and burned it like over six years ago, maybe seven years ago now. And it caught fire so so quickly. It just scared me off of doing candles. I was so freaked out by it. But I've started kind of dabbling back into doing candles a little bit here and there. And so I've got a couple to share, share with you guys. Um, this first one here, I loved it. It smelled amazing. It was Cucumber Melon. It looked so cute. If you guys want to see it before I burnt it, uh, it was in my last Mama Pearson's haul. So I can leave that linked down below. Um, Mama Pearson's, I'm from Indiana. And Mama Pearson's is a little local uh, mom and pop type shop where they do, this is Soporium. It's called Mama Pearson's Soporium. And they have all kinds of like bath and body products. Not like, not like the name brand Bath and Body Works, but like, bath bombs, soaps, those kind of things. And then they've also dabbled into doing like candles and wax melts. And this is my first candle from them. Uh, I want to say it was a little pricey. I think it was around $14, $15, which I mean, I guess it depends on where you get your candles from. Normally I get my stuff from like Walmart. So like five bucks is normal. If I'm spending over that, <laughs> it's a special candle, which this was, you know, this is a little mom and pop boutique type thing. Everything's made in house. Um, it comes with a little cup you can use afterwards and mine says pray on it and it smelled amazing So if um, you're not in Indiana and you can't go to mama Pearson's they do have a website You can order online and I'll leave it linked down below Highly recommend them I'm really starting to switch all of my stuff over from buying Bath and Body Works to buying mama Pearson's because I'd rather shop local Than chain store though Bath and Body Works man. They have some great smelling stuff. So I don't know that I'll ever be completely off the Bath and Body Works, but I am starting to buy more and more from Mama Pearson's when I go over there. They're like 45 minutes away from me, so I don't go often, but when I do, I like to stockpile. Anyways, that's a bit of a rant. This candle was delicious. Cucumber melon, go look on their website, see if you can get one. Oh, it smells so good. Made my whole house smell delicious. So then I have a few, uh, well, this one's a Yankee candle. This one is Apple Pumpkin. Um, this is one of the candles that I had around the time that I, we burnt the carpet to get rid of it. And I was too afraid to burn it. I had it sitting on a shelf for years because I was just freaked out by the idea of burning it. Finally used it up. It's not amazing. I don't know if Yankee Candle is even in business anymore at this point. I know the one near me went out of business. I don't know if that was like, like a chain business-wide deal. They'll have to let me know in the comments as Yankee Candle even around anymore. <laughs> I don't know. But if they are, or if you see one of these in store, pick it up. It smelled really good. Again, this one was Apple Pumpkin. Smelled delicious. And then I was at my local Ollie's a couple months ago, and that's where I picked up these American Home Candles, which are also by Yankee Candle. And uh, yeah, so this one is Fresh Apple. Smelt delicious light scent and then I got um sun brewed tea I just kept the sticker for that one the jar itself I forgot until just now the jar itself cleaned out really well of all the wax and so I'm actually storing my family's toothbrushes in it right now um but this one smelled really good in the jar but when I burnt it I feel like I didn't really have much of a scent so I would skip out on the tea one if you see it in stores don't waste your money it smells good in the jar doesn't really have a lot of scent when you burn it but the apple one and the apple pumpkin pick them up if you see them 
Then I have this one that's called Pineapple Punch. And I remember it smelled really good. I think I might have got it from Dollar Tree. I honestly don't remember where it came from. I want to say Dollar Tree. So, I mean, if you see it, pick it up. It does smell really good. But I don't remember where I picked it up from. So, my apologies. Then I've got a couple of Febreze to share with you guys. So, this one they've had, it's all the time. It's not like a seasonal item. Uh, it's the Downy Scent Febreze. It was my first time trying this one. Normally with Febreze, I use like their like original scent. Uh, this smelled really good. It made my whole house smell like it just came out of the dryer. So, <laughs> I enjoyed that and I will be going back to it. Um, but they have other limited edition seasonal collections right now. So, I picked up almost all of them. Uh, this one is Fresh Harvest Pumpkin. And it smelled so good. I was a little leery about getting it, but it really smelled nice. So if you see this one's in store, don't be afraid to pick it up because it's a, it's a good one. Okay, so let's move into all my wax melts. I cannot promise you that this is all of them. I think I pulled all of them out of my bucket because I have a whole bucket that I fill up with my empties. And uh, we actually moved recently, a couple months ago. It's now rolling into October and we moved back in June and I took all of my empties with me from the old house. <laughs> I never got around to filming a video and instead of throwing them away, I just brought them to the new house and continued to accumulate more. So tons and tons of empties here, but <laughs> all these wax smells so crazy. Like here, <laughs> these are all wax melts right here. <laughs> lots of wax melts so like I said I think I pulled them all out of the tub there might be more okay so this one I did get at the Dollar Tree it is called coconut lime and it's actually those little like tea light candles but they work really well on a wax warmer just pull them out of their little tin sheath that they're sitting in I don't know what else to call it they pop out really easy and you can just put them in your wax warmers and it smelled really good a lot of times when I do this from Dollar Tree the candles don't have much of a sense at all but these ones were fantastic so if you see them give them a try now I'm gonna try to pull some of these out based on what it is we don't have to like look at the same thing five times in a row because I do repeat a lot of my wax melts just because I like them so give me a second to sort through and we can kind of take it scent by scent Okay, first one to share with you guys. Now, most of, unless I tell you otherwise, most of these came from Walmart and uh, they're the mainstay collection and you can get them for under a dollar, at least in my area. They're like 98 cents, something like that. Um, so the first one here to share with you guys is apple cider donut wax cubes. I have one, two, three, four, five of them. They are one of my favorite scents from this uh, brand highly recommend i recently went to the store and bought more wax belts because i was almost out and um i stocked up on these i got more so being that fall is here they have these out i think these were new last year and i stocked up <laughs> last year and i've been like just going through these like crazy um they're my favorite. So if you see them at Walmart, pick them up. I don't think you'll be disappointed. They have a delicious, wonderful smell. They just make your house smell like apple baked goods. They're just delicious, which is just like my whole goal in life. I just want my house to smell like apples and cinnamons and baked goods. Like that's just what I want my whole house. Unless it's like middle of summer and then I want like fresh pineapple coconut. But most of the year I want like fall baked goods. <laughs> so on that same kind of theme, this one was new last year as well salted caramel so oh, salted caramel butterscotch and i have one two three five of them this was another one i stockpiled on last year and i really enjoyed it um i just feel like the last time i used it though i burnt myself out because i seen them in store the other day and i didn't buy any um because i was remembering feeling burnt out on it but now that i'm smelling it now i'm here for it and i want more so i don't know i don't know what was i don't know why i had that memory of it Clearly I liked it well enough to buy five and I used all five. This smells delicious now. I don't know what I was thinking when I was at the store the other day. I should have bought more because it really smells good. It just smells like hot caramel, just salty and just, uh, it smells delicious. Okay, and then we have Harvest Pie Wax Cues. These were also fall collection last year. I've noticed they don't have like half of these fall collections in yet and we're gonna get into more of them um, as we go along. Uh, it may have been sitting in my bucket for so long it doesn't have a smell anymore and I really don't remember it. Oh yeah, okay. That's a nice, nice light scent. It smells 
more like apple-y than pie, but it's nice. I would buy that again if I seen it in the store. But um, yeah, I was, like I said, I was at Walmart the other day and they, own, they were bringing out fall collection stuff. And there's some new ones there that I wasn't personally a big fan of. Um, they're very like musky, masculine scents. Uh, like there was a cashmere one, which I feel like I, I don't care for. I feel like it's a little on the masculine side. And then there was like a mahogany one, which just smelled like straight cologne, which if you like that, hey, head there. I think you'll enjoy it. It's very strong, um, but it's not really what I want my house to smell like. So the apple cider donut and the salted caramel was still there, but the harvest pie I was not seeing. And then there's also, here's a couple more we have. Um... This one is one that they have almost every year, Apple Pumpkin Wax Cubes. I've bought it on and off, and maybe they just haven't gotten it in yet, but my store did not have any of this one. Uh, this one pulls a lot more on the apple side than pumpkin spice, but it smells really good. And then Pumpkin's Plum Cubes. I know this was a new one last year. I only bought one, and I don't think I liked it. There's not much of a scent left in the package to give you a review on it, but seeing as I didn't buy any more... <laughs> <laughs> I think that tells us all we need to know. Um, I don't think I much cared for it. And I didn't see it in store when I was there the other day. And then we have Lemon Pumpkin. This one is from Better Homes and Gardens. So these ones are a little more expensive. They are bigger wax melts. You get a lot more in them versus the mainstay. I say the mainstay versus the Better Home and Gardens. Um, these are closer to like $2 a pack, if not a little over. That one smells so good. Oh my gosh. Because this one's Lemon Pumpkin and it smells just like what you would think, except like it's delicious like like a gooey lemon bar but it's got like some pumpkin in it or something I don't know it, it smells really good I would buy that again if I found it uh I wasn't looking at the better home and gardens when I was there the other day so I don't know if they had it or not this one I'm surprised I only have two of I feel like I started throwing them away or something probably because I'm accumulating so many empties but this one is <laughs> sweet sugared lemonade it smells like a lemon shake-up. It is delicious, and I've been burning these on and off all summer. I swear I've had more than two of these. I don't know where the other ones are at, but I know I've had more than two. And I'm still seeing that one in store. You can still buy it if you're interested. Um, pumpkin spice they bring out every year. It smells like a pumpkin pie. It's delicious and warm scents. I'm here for it. And then warm apple pie is another good one that they carry every year and definitely worth picking up. Then there's the Sweet Apple, which is one of my favorite summer scents. It's more of like a crisp, I don't want to say like green apple because it's not sour smells at all. It's very light, crisp, and sweet. But it's just a great springtime summer scent. And I buy it every year in the spring. And um, yeah, super good. Then we have Sugared Berry. Uh, I don't know if this was a new one last year or not. I only have one here. I didn't much care for it. It really wasn't my thing. I'm not a big fan of just like berry scents. Like I like the idea of it. I want to like it. And sometimes I find a good one. But on average, I'm kind of disappointed in them. And I don't always care for the way they smell when they're burning. So if you can tell, I normally stick towards like apple baked goods. <laughs> Speaking of, we have a caramel apple spice. And I believe this one is from Dollar General. Uh, I don't really remember it. It smells good in the package, so if you see it, don't be afraid of it. It smells nice. Um, but I don't remember burning it, so I can't give you a review on that side of things. So that's one of the bad things to when I like to let my empties build up so much is that I start to forget <laughs> about some of the products. Um, and then we have these two, which I think this is like a newer theme they've come out with. Uh, they're from Mainstay. They're also like right around a dollar, a little under. This one is Lime Wax Cubes, and it's a 100% pure essential oil infused wax cubes. So they're on a different side of my cat's trying to get under the door. <laughs> they are on a different side um, or a different like shelf than your regular wax cubes at my store, anyways. Um, so like one side has these more candly ones and the other side has like essential oils and a row of these. They smell really nice. I used these ones this summer. Like I said, this one is lime and it smells so good. Just like a fresh lime. <laughs> and then our last wax one is a Bright Hibiscus Wax Cube. This was definitely from like their spring collection. And it smells really good in the package. I don't remember if I liked it burning or not a lot of the times I'm not a big fan of floral scents um 
I don't know. I want to like them. I just, I'm not normally a big fan and I didn't buy any more. So I don't know if I seen it again, I, I might give it another go, but it wasn't very memorable. Okay. We can move on into my Bath and Body Works products that I've used up and I have used up a fair amount this year. Um, I had a massive stockpile of Bath and Body Works products for years. <laughs> I had a credit card with them at one point in time in my early twenties. Girl, Oh, okay. Um, I've since really backed off how much I shop there and I've been trying to use up my collection that I have. Um, but I do like a couple times a year, I will let myself go in and buy a couple of things. And I typically ask for Bath and Body Works products for Christmas. Um, so I do get new things in, but I don't like just do a huge go crazy spending spree there. Um, I haven't in a long time. So really trying to use up what I have, but I might go ahead and film an empty, not an empties, but a Bath and Body Works collection video here in a little bit. Um, because I normally do one every year, just kind of document my trying to use up my products. And I don't think I filmed one for this year and I'm not sure I filmed one for last year, but I can definitely link my last one down below. Um, along with my very first one, which is in my old trailer, <laughs> but <laughs> I've got quite a bit to go through here. So first one here we have is the Waikiki Beach Coconut Body Wash. I love their body washes. They always smell amazing. This one smells of summertime. I just love their summer scents. It was a little aggressive there. Uh, they're just fantastic and I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. Then we have two of the Mary Cherry Cheer. Like I said, I ask for their things from Christmas. Wait, one might be a body lotion. Okay, yeah, we've got the body lotion and we've got the body wash. There might be, I'm not sure if I used up the perfume for that or not. No, I don't think I have, okay. So we've got the perf the body wash and the lotion. Smells good, super sweet. I know they're gonna be coming back out with this one. I really enjoy it and would totally purchase again. Uh, again, lotion and wash. I love their lotions, I love their washes. Their lotions like just soak in so well and make my skin feel very well hydrated. And I love the scent that it leaves. Um, and of course, one of the big things with Bath and Body is that you can get your lotion and your perfume and your body wash. It's all the same scent, which is one of my favorite things about their products. I know I say I want to switch over to Mama Pearson's for a lot of stuff, but like, I don't know. I love their soaps. So <sighs> we'll see. I don't know if I'll ever like completely stop buying it. Like I've mentioned, but I really love their soaps. So soap and their lotion. So that was the Mary Cherry Cheer. The one I most recently used up was Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. This is my second bottle of Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin that I've had. The very, they, I feel like they keep changing up the scents on this. So I was at Bath and Body Works the other day, just kind of poking around. And the Sweet Cinnamon and the Pumpkin this year smells completely different from this one. And this one's about two years old. And what I kind of do with all this, because I've got a lot of Bath and Body Works products, is I'll use it for a month and then put it away and kind of cycle through. So this one lasted me for the month of um, September this year. And then, well, most of September, I've just recently switched over to a different one. We're not, we're, tomorrow's October 1st, okay. And then I used it last year. Um, so in total, it took me two months to get through it, but I had it for two years. Um, so it smells different this year from the one from two years ago, which is this one. And then this one I got after I used up my last one when it smelled different from that one, which that one I had for two years. So I don't know why they keep changing up the scent on this in particular, but every time I smell it every year, I feel like it smells different. Um, so I don't know. I don't, and I don't much care for the way it smells now. I feel like it's so different. And let me know if anybody else is noticing that. I, they just keep switching it up. This was a good one. Oh my gosh, I really loved it. This was a luxury bubble bath, which I can never find in stores. My mother-in-law one year surprised me with um, Bath and Body Works bubble bath. And the Hello Beautiful smelled so good. I loved it in the tub soaking in it. Oh, it smells so good. And it gets so foamy. You get so much bubbles out of the stuff. Like a little bit goes a long way. So like I, I think I'm down to like half of one more bottle. And I've had these bubble baths for at least four years at this point, probably. But a little bit goes a long way. They just last forever. So if you ever see a bubble bath from Bath and Body Works, pick it up. You won't regret it. And it, it smells amazing. It makes your skin feel so soft and you get lots of bubbles. Okay, here's one I used up. I don't know how recently I used it. Maybe in last year. It's just gingerbread latte. I loved it. Oh my gosh, it's a Christmas scent. Smells so good. Pick it up if you see it. Highly, highly recommend. 
um, Frosted Snow Blossom. It's okay. I mean, I like it, but I don't think I would buy it again necessarily. I'm not like in love with it or anything. Um, here's one that I actually bought this summer. Loved it so much. I used it twice. Like I used it all up this year, which like I guess a lot of times I rotate sorry I'm like making lots of noise a lot of times I rotate through my products so they'll last me a couple of years at times um, but this one I used not consecutively two months through but I used it twice this year and it smells so good it's called at the beach oh love it I got the, the lotion and the um, perfume body spray it's amazing it smells like a tanning salon which in my early 20s i used to go tanning all the time i loved going to the tanning bed and i loved the way the tanning lotion smelt but you know skin cancer and all that bad stuff i've quit but that just like throws me back and i love the way that stuff smells okay then i've got a thousand wishes body spray i had this one for years it's not one of my favorite scents um i ended up with a couple of them though so i've got like two more left in my collection i believe so we'll get around to it i don't hate it it's just not my favorite i don't grab at it you know so they were given to me as gifts and like i said i will use them but it's not something i would like buy myself personally it's not my favorite and i know it's getting around to that time of year where this one's going, going to be coming out a lot i know a lot of people love it and enjoy it so like you do you you enjoy your thousand wishes um I got some I'm still gonna be using <laughs> but it's not my personal favorite okay then we have one of their filming hand soaps in here this one is vanilla bean noel I would have gotten it at Christmas time last year for my mother-in-law I don't know how long it's been in this bucket um I like it I like the smell of the vanilla bean I love their foaming hand soaps so does my five-year-old who goes through way too much hand soap at a time so as far as buying fancy hand soaps for the bathroom I'm kind of done doing that I've got one nice one left um, in the kitchen and that's where it stays because my toddler not he's not a toddler anymore he's five but he'll get there and just, you know, just go through half the bottle so um I'm buying super cheap hand soaps right now for the bathroom so I won't be doing any more of these for a while maybe I'll just keep to buy them for my kitchen sink but I really love their foaming hand soaps then we have fresh gardenia I got this a couple of years ago and it took me a while to go around to using it like I said I've got a decent sized collection of their products I really enjoyed it I think it smells fantastic I don't even know if this is one that they bring out every year or if it was just like a one-time collection deal and then they just stopped making it but I liked it if you've seen it I think you'd enjoy it it was really a nice summer one then this one is raspberry sugar body cream and it smells so good really enjoyed it I honestly can't tell much of a difference though between like their body lotion and their creams. Their creams are thicker, but I feel like once you put them on, like they operate the same, they absorb the same, my skin feels the same. So other than the texture of just putting them on, like I don't really know much of a difference. Then we have a Waikiki pe Peach <laughs> Beach um, body wash. So yeah, really good. I love all of their Hawaii collection. All of them just smell like super summer which I really love. I love the coconut scents. And then I have a handful of samples that are Bath and Body Works samples that my husband picked up when he was at some hotels. So I am always a big advocate for using up your samples, whatever you have on hand. Um, so we have coconut lime verbena, and these are all body lotions. They smell amazing. They do a good job. I know you can actually buy this scent in store, or at least you used to. I don't know if it's an older collection and if they're still making it or not, but I know for a while they were. So if you see it, pick it up. It's really a nice scent. And then there's a coconut lime shampoo. I don't think that you can find these in stores. I think this is like just for hotels. I have personally never stayed at a hotel that had Bath and Body Works products. I, I want to because I would probably be finding one of the maids carts and ransacking it. Um, but my husband always brings me a few home. And then we've got white citrus um, shamp bath gel and conditioner. Um, I don't even remember these ones. But okay, well, I can't seem to open it either. There's not much of a scent left in here. They've probably been sitting in my bucket for a while. I don't know what to say about that other than use your samples because it helps cut down on price. I mean, I don't know. If you're staying at a hotel, well, with my husband, when he stays at hotels for work, his work's paying for it. But you stay at a hotel, I always say take your samples and use them up if you like them because you done paid for it. And it just helps cut down on costs with buying shampoos and conditioners and all that stuff long term. Personal opinion. People might think I'm crazy. <laughs> 
So now that we don't have all the Bath and Body Works stuff, we can move into what I have left of Mama Pearson's. So I only have a couple of things. I haven't been taking a whole lot of baths and such here lately. Um, this one is Stress Away Triple Salt Blend. This is one of their soap, their salt soaks. Um, I think it smells really good. I actually still have some in the jar that I keep my soaks in, but I've been using it long enough to tell you that I like it. And I I would consider repurchasing. I feel like it was a kind of an expensive buy. Um, they don't have any price tags on their items. However, I found that you can make your own soaks so easily that I don't, I'd be hard pressed to buy anybody's soaks at this point, I think when I can just make my own. I don't know, we'll see. I wanna go back to Bath and Body, not Bath and Body, I wanna go back to Mama Pearson's here soon, so I may end up just buying from them anyways. We'll see. And then their bath bombs are my favorite, and I'm surprised I don't have more of them in here. It's possible I may have some stickers. Let me see what their stickers look like. I may have some of their stickers, all the time, so I'll just keep that. And there could be some down here in this bucket that I just haven't found. So we'll see when we get down there. But this one was Wild Peach Poppies Fizzy Shea Butter Bath Bomb. It doesn't really have a scent anymore, but I, I'm sure I enjoyed it. This one I remember using recently. It was Pearberry. Oh my gosh, it smelled just like Bath & Body Works Pearberry. Their bath... Um, Bath bombs are pretty cheaply priced. They range between three and six dollars, depending on what you're getting, or at least last time I was at their store is what the prices were ranging at. Again, I'll link them down below. And I just I love their bath bombs. They smell amazing. They're so fragrant. You come out smelling like the bath bomb, which is the whole point, I think. And I love how finely milled they are because I will take the bath bomb and exfoliate my body with it. My armpits is, I know that might sound weird, but it's one of the things I like to exfoliate with the bath bomb because it's such a fine grit. And along with like my feet, I'll exfoliate my feet with it and my arms. And it just, it smells amazing. It makes your body smell amazing. And it's such a fine grit. You can exfoliate yourself, which I think is a unique quality with a bath bomb. They don't advertise it like that. It's just how I found that I like to use them, but I have had other bath bombs from like Bath and Body Works or like uh, I think Lush and definitely Walmart ones in particular, where they're just a little more of a coarser grit and you cannot exfoliate yourself because it hurts. <laughs> and the ones from Mama Pearson's are so finely milled, you can exfoliate your body. So I love that. I'll sit there and I'll just like exfoliate myself and then pop it back in the tub and let it soak around and love it i highly recommend their bath bombs again i will put a link to their website below please go check them out not affiliated by any means they don't know who i am i'm just a random person on the internet who really loves their products okay so i've got two different well not different two of the same deodorants to talk about i've been buying this for years if you guys have watched my in sorry i think like i have a, a hair i can feel it but i'm not catching it <laughs> If you guys have been watching me for a long time, you know that I love the Outlast Sweat and Odors from Secret Deodorant. It's the gel deodorant. I buy them in two packs. I feel like this is a newer packaging maybe. I'm not sure. It's what I've seen last time. This one comes in 3.4 ounces. This is 2.6. And I feel like it was always like a two pack of this. And last time I bought them, it came in a two pack with that. So I don't know what's going on there, but I'm not against getting more product. I love it. I feel like it works really, sorry, I am feeling that hair and I am not <laughs> finding it. It does a good job. It really does last for 48 hours. If you like are just busy doing stuff, you forget to put your deodorant on. I've definitely noticed it work that long. Again, I've been using, I think I've been using that since like high school and I'm 31 now, okay? I've been using it for like at least 15 plus years and I freaking love it. It doesn't leave white marks on my clothing. I'm sorry, I feel like half of this video is gonna be me scratching my nose trying to find this dang hair because it is itching the heck out of my nose. Highly recommend that deodorant if you're looking for a good one. Moving into some shampoos and conditioners, we have VO5. This is like my favorite brand for shampoo and conditioner. So we have, I don't know why I keep buying this one. It's called Extra Body. I don't know if it necessarily gives your hair any extra body. I don't particularly love the scent. It still works really well. I feel like the conditioner does a really good job of making my hair feel really soft in the ends. The shampoo does a really good job of washing my hair and it lathers up really nicely um but again i don't know why i keep buying the extra body with collagen i don't like the way it smells it's okay i don't love it and yet i keep buying it i buy it once or twice a year probably um and then i don't i don't know why i've got i've got anybody else just fly through shampoo i feel like i go through shampoo so quickly and then i just end up with like a bunch of random conditioners so 
some of these are a little mismatchy but i've got a strawberries and cream shampoo this is probably one of my favorite scents from them and it goes back to my grandma always had strawberry and cream shampoo from vo5 in her uh, i almost said washing machine oh my gosh in her bathtub in her shower she always had the vo5 and so it's just always been nostalgic for me for childhood and time i go see a grandma's like use her vo5 shampoo and i love the price on these because they're like right around a dollar you can find them a dollar tree they've got lots of varieties same with a walmart is a little more expensive not very much um or maybe it's a little cheaper i can't remember i think it's walmart is a little more cheaper but they have less variety and then dollar tree is right at a dollar and they have more variety i think if i remember correctly um so strawberries and cream is one of my favorites and then there's also the ocean fresh ocean refresh and that is really nice too and that was just a conditioner i know i had a conditioner for this and a shampoo for that but they got used up at some point or who knows maybe they got thrown away during the move and didn't come over here so here's a giant conditioner i've been trying to get rid of for years at this point i've had it for so long it's redkin fifth avenue i didn't much care for the way it smelt it took way too long for me to get rid of it i finally started using it as a shaving cream because it was a really thick conditioner and so i would just shave my legs with it just trying to get rid of it i'm not a big fan i won't repurchase <laughs> and then there's this wild cherry blossom um softening shampoo from suave i was probably in a pinch when i bought this i was probably at walmart and they were probably out of vo5 because i'm not a big fan of suave i feel like it's very drying on my hair um but it's cheap and that's probably why i bought it okay here's one that is aromatherapy oh this is bath and body works i didn't realize that or i showed it to you a little bit ago um it's rose and vanilla i love the way this one scent smells it's a bath it's a bubble bath oh my gosh it smells so good oh i love it love it love it so pick that one up if you see it and you like anything rose scented i love i loved that in the bath i really enjoyed it i really just really enjoy bath and body works bubble baths they're so good okay so everything else in here is just kind of jumbly and random so we'll just kind of start picking through i know a lot of people talk about garnier i honestly don't know what the difference is between the green lid and the pink lid i feel like they both work the same but they do a fantastic job at taking makeup off they are the micellar waters so highly recommend that they're pretty affordable i think they're around five bucks maybe and they last a while and they do a, a great job and I have a Dove um, dry shampoo. I hate this stuff. Don't buy it if you see it. Keep on walking. I know some people really enjoy it and I don't understand why. It smells good, but I feel like it doesn't do a good job. It doesn't absorb the oils in my hair. I'm more prone to seeing white streaks. Um, I ended up buying several of these because they were on clearance a couple years ago and I had a coupon. They were on clearance for $3.48 and I had a coupon. So I got them super cheap and I bought like two or three. And I hated every minute of using them. I used them because I bought them, but they did not do a good job. I, I don't like it. I don't recommend it. Um, this one here is from SGX NYC. It's the Do It All 3-in-1 Dry Texture Spray Volume Refresh and Texture. Dry Shampoo Meets Hairspray. I feel like it does a really good job. I got two samples of these in a Meyer spring box a little while back. And Meyer is like Walmart. It's here in the Midwest, um, but it's a little bit nicer to shop in. And then you get these little like spring, fall, summer boxes with like samples. It's over in like their makeup department. Anyway, I would pick this up again. I would definitely be down. I think it smelled really good. It did a good job. It definitely like texturized and like lifted my hair, gave me a little oomph in there which i appreciated my hair likes to lay flat if you can't tell <laughs> okay and then this one i used up most recently i got it from ipsy a while ago and i held on to it forever because i know they're so expensive it's from orbe dry texturizing spray it smells delicious i need somebody to come out with this in a perfume so i can just spray it on my body i held on to it for so long because it's such an expensive item again i got it from ipsy so this is a sample size but to buy a full size one is close to fifty dollars and so I just kept holding on to this one because I was like, at some point I'm going to have a special thing to go to. And let's be realistic. I don't ever have special things to go to. <laughs> so I finally started using it. I also question, he, he says he didn't, but I think my husband was using it as a clone and didn't realize that it was actually mine. If I'm being honest with you. I, I don't, I don't think he realized what it was and just, you know, the black bottle, which is similar to some of his body sprays. And uh, yeah, I think he was using it because... 
I went through that way more quickly than I should have. Here's another one of the Mama Pearsons. Um, bath bombs this one is a cucumber melon another foaming bath bomb sometimes they have bubble bath bath bombs and those are really nice too cucumber melon smell really good you really can't go wrong with a mama person's bath bomb you really can't this i was not a fan of it is the l'oreal pure sugar scrub exfoliants um it's a coffee scrub i got it for free as a sample through it's a full size sample through oh what is that i can't remember what the thing is called there's a website influencer i used to be on there a lot and i just, i don't really mess with it much anymore but this is one of the last samples they sent me i don't like coffee at all like if you like coffee you'd probably enjoy this i think it's a sugar scrub yeah it's a sugar scrub um but it was full of coffee and i don't like the way coffee smells i don't like the way it tastes i'm not a fan i don't care how much sugar and cream you put in it i still get that coffee taste if somebody bakes brownies and puts coffee in it to make the chocolate more decadent i'm gonna taste the coffee and I'm not gonna like the brownies. Like, I just don't like coffee, okay? And so I wasn't a big fan of it in a scrub, but I used it all the way up because it's the way I look at it. Everything breaks down to money. And I'm like, how much would it cost me to go and buy this in real life, even though it was given to me as a free sample? <laughs> Regardless, I used it, I didn't like it. I think if you're somebody who likes coffee, you'll enjoy it. Um, it did a decent job as, full of, as far as exfoliating. It did what it's supposed to do, but I just, I didn't enjoy the scent. So it's not for me. Okay, we got a Dr. Teal's foot cream. I think it did okay, but uh, next time I'd like to try something different. Not to say that you shouldn't try it, but I don't think it's like a holy grail. I'm going to keep buying this again kind of a thing. Like, it did okay. It did its job. I'm not in love. Oh, here's another <laughs> little sample from Hotel Bath & Body Works uh, Body Lotion Coconut Lime Verbena. We already talked about those. That's a slightly different packaging. I'm honestly not sure why I put a Jergens face bar in here to let you know I used it, I guess. <laughs> face and body bar. And that came from a hotel as well. Like, I'm just very adamant about using up samples. I've got a ton of samples here that I have used up. A lot of them are from hotels and just random, random whatnots. Um, they're great for gym bags. If you go to the gym a lot and you take showers at the gym, I, I recommend doing that with these. Uh... Yeah, so these ones I really did enjoy. They're from Oliver, Ol Olive Branch Botanicals, and it's a hydrating. There's lotion. Um, that one's also a lotion. This one's a lotion. Another lotion. Another lotion. But I know I have had them before in shampoo and conditioner. I've showed them in other videos. And I really like this brand, especially in the lotion. It is olive oil, as it says. And um, it does a really good job moisturizing the skin. So I would highly recommend. And my husband brought all of those home for me <laughs> from one of his hotel stays. Then I've got several of these little Neutrogena ones. Um, I can't say they're anything exciting. They're all body lotions. They acted like a body lotion. They weren't anything overly exciting. They did okay. Um, if you see them in stores, I think you can pass. I think you can get a better body lotion somewhere else, like Bath and Body Works, but you know, it, it did okay. Okay, these were a couple of samples that I've had for a long time. I'm not even sure where I got them from, but they actually did a really good job. Milk makeup. Do you guys remember when that was like the hype and everybody's like, oh my God, milk makeup. That was a couple years ago and I got samples for it and they actually did a really good job. I've been holding on to them for a long time. Um, this one is the Sunshine Skin Tint and I had, like I said, two samples there and it did a really good job just kind of giving like a sheer wash of color over my face. Um, I would recommend it if you're looking for a nice lightweight foundation that's just like a nice missile skin tint hope color correct i think you'd enjoy it here we have the olay cleansing whip light as air feel i don't even remember this if i'm being honest with you <laughs> that's how good it was i don't even remember it then i've got like some of these tuscan hills uh well i've only got one left but it's like a body butter and i want to say they smell really good there isn't really any smell left in the package but I think they're pretty good. I think this came in a gift set and I'm pretty sure you can find them at Walmart. This one was French Lavender. Then I've got an Olay Complete uh, UV 365 Daily Moisturizer. Um, broad Spectrum, broad, bleh, broad Spectrum SPF 15. I love Olay Facial Lotion. I go back to this all the time. 
Um, I'll try something new and then I go back to Olay. I've been using it since I was 15. I think it does a great job moisturizing your skin. I highly recommend the Olay um, moisturizers. They don't leave your skin feeling greasy. The one I'm currently using, I can't remember what it's from. I hate it. I've talked about it in a few other videos. I'm trying to get it used up. And in fact, I'm being really spotty with using my facial lotion during the day because I just hate using it so much because it makes my thin skin feel so greasy. This doesn't do the, that. This Your skin drinks it up and it feels nice and it's got the SPF 15 in it. Um, I've never had a problem with either using the name brand, which that one was name brand, or using an off brand as far as like, you know, the Walmart off brand, which I think would be like Equate maybe. Um, I've never been disappointed and I keep going back to it. It's, I love it. And then on top of that, I have the Olay Age Defying Night Cream. I think this did a really good job. It smelled nice going on. And it, I feel like these are pretty comparable as far as like soaking in. I know when you hear cream, you think it's going to be like sticky and gooey and sit on your skin for a while, but it soaked in just as quickly as the daytime stuff did. So I would definitely repurchase this. I really enjoyed it. So two more little random lotions from Hotel. They say bath fundamentals. <laughs> I don't really, they weren't very memorable. I just used them because I had them. And I've got a Pantene Daily Moisture Shampoo, also from a hotel. These things last a couple of uses, honestly, um, as far as any of the hotel products. Like, I'll get a couple of uses out of them, which is kind of nice. So you look at it and you think, oh, I'm going to use it all up in one go. But I think I got like two washes out of that one in particular. And then we also have a Nutris, um hair mask i think from garnier garnier nutrients hair mask treatments i don't remember it very well but i do like the garnier um, leave-in conditioners and i have used a bigger sizes of these hair masks before and i feel like they work exactly the same as their leave-in conditioner i i don't notice a difference honestly they work exactly the same so after having my youngest son the hospital gave me some samples and one of them was of this Olay Eyes Deep Hydrating Eye Gel. I'm sure this stuff is expensive, but it, I noticed a difference. I think it did a really good job of like helping with some under eye dryness, which is what it says it's for, and making my eyes look less puffy and baggy in the morning. So I would definitely be open to buying some of that. I don't know what the pricing is on it because again, it was a sample. I had several of these. I only have one in here. I think I threw the other ones away. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. And then we have a deep reconstructor, random conditioner packet. I don't even, from Splat. I don't know what this is from. Uh, and um, this stuff I really liked. I got it in an Ipsy forever ago. I don't get Ipsy anymore. I still got a lot of their products sitting around. This one's Perfect Shine Oil Mist from Nature Lab. It's a color and heat protectant. And I would put this on before I would blow dry my hair and it would make my hair so shiny. Like, but not in a greasy shine. It'd just make it look really healthy and shiny. So I would definitely purchase that if I ever seen it in store. It's really good. Got a random Avita hand relief lotion. I wasn't a big fan of these. I got several of them as a Christmas gift. I used them because I had them and they smell, I don't, I don't like the way they smell. <laughs> I wouldn't buy it again for myself personally. Um, this I finally used up. I'm pretty sure I got it when I did a collaboration with the makeup enthusiast a couple of years ago. And we sent each other, she's in Australia. And we sent each other like a bunch of snacks. I sent her stuff from the US. She sent me stuff from Australia. And I'm pretty sure she sent me a few makeup items as well. And this was one of them. I think it did a pretty good job. I used it up a while ago. But I would purchase that if I ever seen it in stores. I'm not sure if they sell it in the US. But I think they probably do. It's L'Oreal Infallible. So. And it's just like a, a powder. I guess you'd call it a powder foundation. It's really what I prefer to use anymore. Um. And I feel like it just kind of helps correct. I even have it on today. I feel like it just kind of helps correct any redness I have in my skin without like looking like I really caked on a bunch of makeup. So right now I'm using something else. I forget what the brand is, but I'm using something pretty similar right now anyways. Oh, I loved this. My son got a hold of it and busted it. So it's gone now. Um, this is one I got from Ipsy. It's from Pacifica, which you can find at Target. I love Pacifica, Pacifica products. And currently I'm using a Pacifica... Um, highlighter and blush. This one was um, one of the coconut blushes. The shades are Beaming and Tender Heart. 
Um, I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to tell the coloring from mattes, but it was a bronzer and a blush and they did a great job. I really enjoyed it. I think I had it for like maybe two years. Makeup just lasts me a long time because I don't make, I don't do makeup all the time. So it really lasts me a long time and my toddler got in here and destroyed it. So it's done now, but I really enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, I would, if, if, and when I need more blush, I would be very open to buying more from Pacifica. I've really enjoyed that brand and the products I've gotten from them. Everything I've gotten has been from Ipsy, but I've always loved it. I've always enjoyed it. Okay, here's a couple more that my toddler got into and ruined. Um, so this one is NYX Duo Chromatic. I believe this one was sent to me from um, one of my friends. Her name is Haley. And we did a makeup swap like years ago. And I'm pretty sure she sent me this one. So I really liked it. I used it in the winter a lot. It's a really nice, fine, um, it's a highlighter. Let me just get a little bit here and kind of show you guys what that looks like. A nice little iridescent look to it i think it complements my skin nicely um it, it doesn't look good on me when i'm very tan so i typically avoided it during the summer i don't know how much it's showing up on here but during the winter when i'm like super white i get whiter than this when i'm like super white it looks really nice on my skin and then this i love this um peach bellini from Model Company. It was one of my first items I got from Ipsy years and years and years ago. Um, I used it on and off for years. Oh, I'm not even going to open that. That's just a mess inside. But like I said, my toddler got into my makeup and ruined a few things. So we're on to other things, but I really enjoyed that. Then here's one that I did use up all the way. It's from Nomad. I don't know. What's the color? It was their highlighter. It might be Stockholm. Maybe that's the color that I'm seeing on there. No, Midnight Sun is the color from Nomad. And it was a very pretty shimmery. It wasn't really a gold color, but it's kind of, I don't know. It was a really pretty highlighter and I used it in the summers a lot. So that one I used up myself. Okay, I've got a few lip products here. We are getting towards the end of everything. So this one is from, I think, Ciate, Ciate London, a uh, lip luster, something I got from Ipsy forever ago, and I really enjoyed it. It's a nice light lip gloss. Finally used that up though. And then I have a whole bunch of um, Blistex. This one's not Blistex. <laughs> so I've got their Sugar Plum Dream, and then two of their just like more regular ones. One is a five star lip product. I got Medicated Lip Balm. I don't know. They're all blistex i feel like they all go on the same way i've really moved into wanting to use blistex over chapstick because i feel like this actually soaks in and moisturizes my lips whereas chapstick just kind of sits on top um so this one is york peppermint patty it was a nice minty flavor didn't really taste a lot of chocolate to it um just basic white on the inside and my husband <laughs> surprised me he knows i love chapsticks it's not uncommon for us to be in a checkout line and i'll be like oh they've got new chapsticks or oh they've got new blistics like i said i look at blistics a lot more now than i do chapstick stuff but he saw a whole packet of these they're all candy flavored chapsticks i think it's from chapstick anyways i'm not really sure it doesn't really stay on here um but they're all candy flavored from hershey's and so he bought them for me and i've been using them up so <laughs> that was the first one i used up was york peppermint patty and then the one I'm using currently is um I think it's the cookies and cream that one has like no flavor that one's kind of a disappointment but that's okay <sighs> few more things we're almost there this is the born this way Too faced um under eye concealer it's a really good job I really enjoyed it I would definitely purchase that again but I know this is pricey so I don't know that I would um I'm kind of like over makeup if I'm being honest with you I think a lot of people kind of got out of the makeup craze last year during 2020 with the pandemic going on people just weren't wearing makeup a lot um even now like I'll sometimes do my makeup for work and then I go into work with my mask on all day long and like my makeup just rubs off in my mask so it's kind of like what was the point so I think a lot of people in the same boat and when it comes to buying more makeup I'm like do I really want to drop that much money on something that's going to get rubbed off in my mask you know so <laughs> I don't know I've got I don't know what it's from but I've got I think it's from Ipsy I know it's from Ipsy but I've got another um under eye highlighter or not highlighter um 
under eye concealer that I've been using and it does a good job but I think from now on I'll probably just be getting drugstore because I just don't see the point in spending that much money on makeup that's gonna rub off in my mask we got a lip tint I used up this is one that I also got from Ipsy it's a Henley lip treatment in mauve and I really like this it was a very pretty color I hated the packaging I hated because you had to like take the lid off which cracked on me that cracked pretty good um and put it on your finger to put it on your mouth and it was kind of turned my finger pink and so that part I didn't appreciate but I loved the color it felt really nice and creamy going on um it was lip tint you know it just kind of tinted my lips and it felt really nice and I enjoyed it with the exception to the packaging and application okay got another hotel uh, lotion here this one is from uh Jer Watkins hand and body lotion I like the Jer Watkins um ointments that they sell for like cuts and scrapes and burns that stuff's really good I don't remember the lotion <laughs> I just used it because I had it um yeah so then I've got a handful of face masks here so this one was a clay mask anti-stress it was a very blue my child was very concerned when he seen mommy with a very blue face um I didn't do what it was supposed to stress relief I don't know it was just kind of fun to use I feel like these kind of things always make your skin feel like super clean when you take them off but I, I don't know are they really doing a lot I can't tell you then I had from mud masky this is one from ipsy and pore refining hydrating anti-aging brightening and smoothing this one does it all um Facial detox, purifying recovery mask. Just has all the words there. I don't remember it very well. I think if anything, it was a mud mask. Yeah, like a mud mask. And well, yes, I okay, it's coming back to me. Um, it did exfoliate. It had a lot of um little gritty bits in it, and it did a really good job of exfoliating when I'd wash it off my face. It would just kind of get all gritty and take it all off. So that part I did enjoy. I think that was kind of neat. I wish more masks did that because it actually exfoliated. It actually had exfoliator in it. It was weird because you didn't feel it when you put it on. It just went on like a normal clay mask, but when you'd get it wet, you'd feel the little gritty bits and you could really scrub your face with it. This one I just finished and I really enjoyed it. Olive oil face mask um, from APHR. Oh, oh my gosh. Aphrodite. The way the package label there I thought it was a break in the word, right? So you have the O right in the middle with the goddess sticking out. And I thought that was some kind of decorative break. So I thought it was A-P-H-R-D-I-T-E. <laughs> it's Aphrodite. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this. I felt like it really moisturized my skin, which is something that I can always appreciate. I'm always looking for better moisturizers, things to keep my skin nice and plump and looking as youthful as possible because I'm starting to get some wrinkles and I'm not here for it. So anything to exfoliate or hydrates or anti-aging I'm all about it so this one is a primer and I really enjoyed it it's ultra repair hyaluronic hydrating primer from first aid beauty really good stuff highly highly recommend and I'm pretty sure I got this one from ipsy I've got another one in my makeup drawer again not been doing a lot of makeup here lately but it feels so good going on it's got like a cool a cooling sensation I don't think that's something that they advertise with it but it, it feels so nice when it goes on your skin. I really enjoy it. This I really liked. It's from number seven, Beautiful Skin Radiant Exfoliator, uh, Normal Dry. I love anything that's a good exfoliator. So it's just like a regular facial wash. And I love anything that's just gonna scrub my face. I don't want it to be too aggressive though. I want it to like really get in there and do a good job and polish my skin. I don't want it to hurt. So, and then there's also some that, <laughs> there's one I'm using right now that's from Equate and it feels like it has those micro beads in it which I think got outlawed but I swear that's what's in it and I'm not liking it it's supposed to exfoliate but it just feels like I have little beads like those little orbes before they get plump and watery it just feels like I'm rubbing those on my face and I'm like this is doing nothing I'm gonna use it because I bought it but I feel like it's doing nothing then I have a sleeping mask which I actually just used as like a nighttime um moisturizer I, I honestly hardly wash my face in the morning if I'm being honest with you I don't mess with it and so I would just go to sleep with it and that was that um it just sunk into my skin moisturized you can see it's kind of popping up there kind of gross looking but it's been all like a lotion honestly I don't I can't tell the difference between a sleeping mask and a nighttime lotion because you're supposed to sleep in it and then wash it off but quite frankly come morning time like it feels like 
your skin just absorbed it all. It doesn't feel like it's there. So I don't understand it. And then this one was Hey Honey, and it was a soothing moisturizer, calming redness, and upset skin. It wasn't memorable. There's another one from Ipsy. I don't remember it. Did I like it? Did I not like it? I liked it enough to use it up. I mean, granted, that's not much coming from me because I'll use about anything up if I have it because it, you know, money and everything. You either paid for it or you got it in a sample, which then you use that sample up, prolongs your needing to buy more of something else. So anyway, I don't remember it very well, <laughs> but I have it anyways. So that's it for our empties bucket. That thing is looking pretty dang grody. I need to go clean that out. Um, thank you for hanging out with me. If you're new, I hope you decide to take the time to check out my channel. See if there's anything else you'd like to watch. Um, I'm not really like a makeup type channel. I'm more of like mom vlogger type channel. What's for dinner, grocery hauls. That's really kind of more of what I'm dabbling in these days. But I've always done the empty videos back from when I was trying to be a makeup channel once upon a time. And these have just kind of lingered on. They're kind of fun just to share with you guys the products that I've been enjoying or maybe not enjoying and what I've been using. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you're new, again, I hope you decide to take the time to check out my channel. See if there's anything else you'd like to watch. Hit the subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I just appreciate the engagement. And I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Bye.